Hey guys, in this one we're taking a look at the Canon T6i. Is it worth it? After a year and a half of rough real world shooting, I think I can answer that question. So hang around, hit that subscribe button, and we'll be right back and take a look. Welcome back, Art here off the Dome Media Group. Let me first start off by saying that this is not gonna be a regular review and it's not gonna be an unboxing. There are plenty of other great YouTube videos out here for that. What it is gonna be is me sharing some of my real world and practical shooting experiences using the T6i and the features that it offers. So let's start with some quick specs. The T6i weighs in at 27.4 ounces. The native ISO is 100 to 12,600 and it's expandable to 25,600. It has a 19 point cross type autofocus system and can shoot five frames per second. It has a 24.2 megapixel APS-C or crop image sensor. It shoots HD video at 1920 by 1080 at 23.98 and 29.97 FPS or frames per second and 1280 by 720 at 59.94 for slow motion. So with all that spec mumble jumble out of the way, what do those numbers really mean in the real world while you're taking still photography or shooting video? Let's see, with the T6i weighing in at 27.4 ounces, it's light enough to carry around with you all day. However, it's just heavy enough to help stabilize still photography or video footage. The ISO range of 100 to 12,800 sounds like a good thing on paper, but because the T6i has the APS-C crop size sensor, which doesn't allow as much light as a full frame sensor, it's not necessarily a good thing. I personally found that the upper ISO range of the T6i is pretty much unusable, at least for me, because it introduces noise into your still photography as well as your video. I've had the ISO as high as 1600 using a Rokinon 16 millimeter T2.2 center lens in a dimly lit bar. I was a little scared and the footage did come out okay. It had some noise that I had to take care of in post, but overall it wasn't that bad. Since then, I typically don't go past 800. As for the autofocus, I say it's okay and depends on the lens that you're using. I primarily use the autofocus for shooting videos for the channel and I typically use the 24 millimeter STM lens like I'm doing now. Now, the burst rate for still shots is five frames per second. As you see, it does a pretty good job of catching one or two good shots within those five frames. But know this, if you're shooting raw plus JPEG or large JPEG, it's going to take a few seconds to buffer and process those images. So plan your shots accordingly. As for video, I'm primarily shooting 1920 by 1080 at 23.98 or 24 frames per second. For my B-roll, I'm shooting 1280 at 720 at 59.94 or 60 frames per second. I really love the camera and typically I don't have any complaints. I use the T6i a lot. I use it to shoot music videos, documentaries, events, and of course, YouTube videos. As far as still photography goes, I shoot a lot of street and urban pictures. The only real issue I have with the T6i is that the monitor is difficult to see in bright sunlight. So back to the question at hand, is the T6i worth it? I'd say so. It gets the job done. The trick for me was learning the camera inside and out. Take a lot of pictures, shoot a lot of video, learn the limits of the camera, and then push past them. Dial back a couple of notches, and typically that's where you'll find the sweet spot. At least that's where I found it. The T6i can take you a long way from amateur photographer or videographer all the way up to the professional level. It's totally up to you and how you use the camera. That's all I have for now. I hope this helps. Check out the T6i in our kit below. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and check out some of the images that we're able to produce with the T6i. As always, subscribe, comment, like, and share. Peace.